so excited to tell you guys we finally bought a house and let's go check out my new garage. So we're standing here in my new garage. I'm so excited and so stoked. I cannot believe I'm finally met my goal of being a homeowner. Uh, me and my wife moved from California to Texas a little over a year ago uh, in hopes to buy a, a house. And we finally did it and I'm so excited. I can't believe we we're finally doing it. Um, it was probably the scariest choice of my life, but it was probably the best choice I ever made in my life for me and my family and financially. Uh, we're doing so well out here. Um, everything that, that we've been through since we've been here has all been for the positive. Yeah, it's a little colder out here and yeah, it's a little hotter out here. And yeah, I miss my Dodgers, but I can't believe I went to the playoffs and I saw the Dodgers here in Texas because of COVID. So that alone tells you right there how, how positive has been the move here. Um, and I also do miss my family, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I'm gonna make a video of touring the whole house. Today's video is not gonna be about touring the house, it's gonna be about checking out the garage. And we're actually gonna install some new lights and start getting this garage prepped and ready. The next couple of videos are gonna be me setting up my garage, which I'm pretty excited. We're gonna start with lights first and then we're gonna start with making a detailing side and we're gonna be going over detailing stuff. I have a power washer that I haven't used yet that I wanna share with you guys on the channel. Um, putting racks and organizing the garage really clean. This garage is only gonna be for car stuff. It's not gonna be for storage. Right now you see some storage here in the corner, but we're gonna figure all that out. We have a lot of attic space, which is sick. And uh, let's get to it. So this is the garage, this is the inside. I just wanna give you a quick tour of what we got so far. So I have my toolbox here. Everything's in shambles here because I've been remodeling the house and painting and hanging stuff and doing all kinds of stuff. So all this stuff will be in the attic pretty soon. That stuff will be taken care of and we're gonna clean this up and store some car stuff that I need to have there. Have my wheels here. Um, yeah, so anyways, that's a quick tour of the garage, nothing special there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of these old school uh, fluorescent lights. We're taking that crap out, we're not using that. We're using these eBay specials, actually Amazon specials. Let me dim it down so you guys can see a little better. These are all LEDs. My idea is to do four strips. Um, two here, two here, and I think we're gonna use six of them going down. I don't know yet. I wanna try to get it from like edge all the way to this edge this is my goal. Um, right now I kinda have it ghetto rigged on this little harness thing. I think for now that's how it's gonna be set up, but I'm gonna hardwire it in eventually. But it's, it is working on a switch right now, as you can see. Let me show you guys. See, it's working on the switch still. But um, originally, that's all the light I had. I put in these temporary, but that's not how I want them. I'm gonna set all that up so it's like perfect. And let's get to it. So we're gonna take that one off. And then we're gonna take off this other one off. All right, so we're gonna test it. We're gonna actually get rid of this one first. And we're gonna need a ladder. So let me go ahead and set that up. I highly recommend that you pick yourself up these, they're called little giant ladders. They're awesome. Um, they're very compact and they can get really big. Um, one thing, the only downside is that they are a lot heavier than traditional ladders, um, but this can become an extension ladder, which is like the kind of ladders that you can extend and put on the side of a house, or it can become an A-frame ladder, which we're gonna use right now, where you use it that way. Um, this is on the smallest way is I think a six foot. Biggest way for an eight frame, I think it's a 10 foot. And then as an extension ladder, I think it's like a 20 or 22 foot, which is pretty awesome. It gives you a lot of variations to set up. Um, but I highly recommend to, to get these guys. So right now you guys saw it, it was on the six foot. I'm gonna put it, hmm, I think seven foot would be fine for this job. There you go. What we're gonna do first is go ahead and take these lights out. We're gonna take these lights out first. The first thing we're gonna do is take out these light bulbs because I don't want them to break while I'm like messing with this thing. And I think the hardware on these guys are in the middle somewhere. I've never taken these out before.
Huh. Let me see on this side. All right, there's one. There's the other one. So you kind of just twist it and get these prongs out. You kind of prime the, the middle. All right, the middle came out. And I see a Phillips right here. So let's go ahead and take that off. All right, hopefully you guys can see it, but the Phillips is right there. We're gonna go ahead and take that out. Also why I'm, uh, I'm changing it to LED is because they're more, more efficient and then they last longer supposedly. So that's the main reason why we're doing that. They don't spend, they don't waste as much electricity. Sorry, my trash truck's stopping by right now. That thing's gone. We're gonna go ahead and just take these out. One thing I realized really quick uh, being a house owner is that there's a lot of projects in the house. Yeah, you can move in and kind of just leave it the way you found it. Um, but, you know, when you buy an older house, this house is from 1994. Um, you want to remodel stuff. Not only, you know, you, you live more comfortable, uh, you like your house more, the valley goes up too. And um, I realized really quick, it's very exhausting. There's a lot of work to be done, but it's cool at the same time. Um, it's exhausting, especially if you have a lot of responsibilities, like, you know, kids or you have a house, I mean, a job that you have responsibility to. It can be very exhausting. Not saying that I have a kid, but having a full-time job where my work is manual labor gets very tiring. So I'm actually going to keep these. Uh, these are called pig, pigtails. Um, I'm sure we could use it for something in the future. Keep these all right so the next thing i got to do some math i want to do four rows so i'm going to measure what the sides from this side to this side how many feet and inches that is first so i had to take a quick little break because i kind of cut myself had to put a band-aid on the stupid thing only goes up to 16 feet and i overextended it but anyways let's get back at it so we're all good now. We gotta go 17 inches and then remeasure. I mean, 17 feet, which this is good enough. This is 14 feet right here. Then we'll remeasure. Fourteen. So we're 18. About 18 feet, roughly. All right, so hopefully my little cheat sheet makes sense here. I don't know if it's focused. So we measured the width of the garage being 18 feet, and we're gonna put um, four strips of LED lights. So we're gonna go three feet from the first gap from the wall, being that wall right here, before the LED actually starts. We're going to do a three foot gap, and then we're gonna go four feet between each light, and then a three foot gap from the other wall. The good thing is that I have this cap, which is like a, some kind of big ass level. Well, this thing's exactly four feet, so we'll use this for spacing. We'll just have to measure our starting point, which is three feet, so let's get to it. And these are the brackets right here, so you guys can check them out. It's basically just a fill up with these like little metal brackets, and then I'll show you how they snap on. Right, 
and let's go ahead and snap on our first LED light. Let's go ahead and snap it on. There's the first one. All right, so we're done with the first set. I think the spacing came out perfect. Um, it's perfectly spread in the garage, which I think is gonna light the heck up. Um, I'm gonna have to order some more lights because I actually put some in my attic that were for the garage and I forgot about that. So I'm down to three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna probably put one more row and then I'm gonna be left with two. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna place an order for more so we can finish this project. But the spacing is coming out perfect. I love it. And this thing's gonna be amazing, you'll see guys. So I wanna give you guys a quick update of the garage. Um, my battery actually died and the audio was garbage. So I couldn't even use the audio for hanging the lights. So the, all the lights are hung in the garage. As you can see, it's super duper bright in here. Um, look at that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The max you, could, you can have daisy chained is eight of them um because then it starts to i think melt wires so we have eight of them on each side which is really nice because it brightens up the whole shop there's not one dark spot other than that spot right there which i don't really care and i think it looks really good as you can see it's super duper bright look at the difference bam 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 Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.